Radio Raheem with the voice of boxing, Michael Buffer, in the center of the action as always. It's a quite a decadent night. You're obviously outdressing everybody as usual. Uh, I'm I mean, in these... uniform. I'm in uniform. I'm actually hosting this thing so uh, on stage. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. They have brought uh, the legends and the elite out tonight. I mean, does this kind of thing ever get old for you? Nah. <laughs> no, this is this is pretty sweet. This is this is pretty unbelievable. You've been at the center of so many fights. Uh, I, I, you may be the only guy that could potentially have been at the center of something like this before. I don't remember uh, a, a, a heavyweight champion fighting a first-time fighter that I've been ringside for, but uh, have you seen something like this before? Not for this type of fight. I mean, I've seen spectacular events, you know, and, and back in the days at Caesars and, and the open-air stadium and that sort of thing, and, um, you know, the Four Kings and all that. But this is, this is amazing. I think the younger fans of boxing may not appreciate just how incredible it is to have an undisputed heavyweight champion, so like how rare it is actually to accomplish that. We may be on the cusp of that before the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, uh, but a lot is riding on what's happening tomorrow night that, you know, I mean, if there's a cut or a knockdown or an injury or something that would put that in trouble. And, uh, a man you know well. Yeah, how are you, my boy? Assalamu alaikum, brother. How you keeping? Keeping well? I'm hanging in there. Legend, huh? Yeah, two I, legends. I, 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 uh, I, I had the honor to have him call me out a few times, so it was amazing to have him call me out, you know, and present, be the main guy in the ring. So thank you for that, man. I was there for we some went, good ones have, and, have, and some crazy ones, too, right? Crazy ones yeah. had one, and good ones. Going, Look, back, going back to Washington, D.C. Oh, I remember right? that oh, one. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you have some good times, man. You have a good memory, bro. Yeah, As a young fighter, wasn't it like one of your goals to have Michael Buffer call your friend? When we were younger, we used to see Michael Buffer announcing the biggest names in boxing. We were like, wow, well, one day will he announce me? Mm. And um, I just did, I just grew so quick. And before you knew, like, Mike, I mean, does it seem, Michael doesn't seem to age I one bit. I actually remember the first time I met him in Sheffield and um, one of uh, Nazim's brothers introduced us and said, this kid is going to be really good. He was like 17 yeah. years old at the time. You probably get so many people telling yeah, you that, man. But like, because uh, everyone, obviously, obviously you pay say so many people saying that to you. But look, we, we we went there, we did it. And you're still looking young as ever. You are still going strong. We've called it a day from the sport boxing. But you are still going strong. You've seen guys... I don't know about strong. I'm still going, but I don't know about <laughs> strong. You've seen guys, legends like Amir, Hall of Famers, from the beginning all the way through their yeah. career. Uh, what's it like on a night like this when all levels of boxers are, have come through these doors and you've known them at all stages of their career? Yeah, it's really exciting to see that. I mean, like I just saw Ricky Hatton a few hours ago and I remember doing quite a few of his fights in the stadium in uh, um, uh, Man City and there was a big dream of his to, to box at a sellout stadium where it was his favorite team and um, yeah, some great moments. How has the sport changed between like the time when there was three networks or four networks and now like the, the world is so small and the internet is so big? And, and streaming makes such a huge difference. I mean, um, now HBO and Showtime, are, they're, they're gone. Never Corporate imagined. decisions and streaming is everything. Yeah, I mean, do you feel like it changes the sport itself at all? Yeah, it changes uh, viewership as, as the, the availability and everything. I can remember when I first started, going back in the day, but uh, doing fights on the weekend in Atlantic City uh, on like a Thursday night, I might do an ESPN show on Saturday, an ABC show, and then a, a CBS show on Sunday. It's crazy. A lot of fights. Speaking of crazy, we saw you in the center of the ring for uh, crossover you influencer boxing match it had all the stuff that night and you know probably in the beginning of your career decades ago we wouldn't even know what that stuff oh, was much less imagine that being as huge an event as it is how did you feel being there for that kind of event it was exciting because it had a young uh excitable happy crowd that just loved being there and uh i think that cultivates and helps uh, to develop new fans younger fans they 
they enjoy the action and the event, and then maybe they'll learn a little bit more and, and follow the, uh, the top-ranked professional fighters. And the credit is down to you for introducing me to that world, in fact. Like, I'm supposed to be the younger man between us, although you can't tell by looking at us. And you put me on to these YouTubers in Manchester five or six years ago now. Yeah. The first oh, that, fight. that was yeah. a crazy night. It really crazy was. Night. And yet you're still at the center of all the action at the gala events. It wouldn't be a gala event without you. So I'll let you get in there and help these guys be regal. Always a pleasure with the voice of boxing, the biggest icon in the sport, Radio Rahi with Michael Buffer.